having trouble seeing? Well, we're going to help you solve some of your biggest vision problems today. Please welcome Doug Zarkin from Pearl Vision. How you doing? Hi, Doug. How are you? Okay, so why is it so important for adults to get eye exams? So, as much as it's International Women's Day, unfortunately, it's father time that uh, is wreaking <laughs> havoc on your eyes. About age 40, the lens of your eye actually starts to harden a bit. And so okay. being able to see distance close and far away starts to weaken. And yeah. so doctors recommend, our doctors recommend that at age 40, you go in for a comprehensive eye exam. Yeah, one of us here on this desk is over 40. The other one is not. I'm not going to say which one, but one of them does complain about those, their vision. Doug, you see those tire marks on my back? I do. Can you see those tire marks? But I don't see any wrinkles, so you're good. Yeah, yeah no, she good. looks fantastic, but you do complain about your eyes. And it, when did I tell you I start complaining? 40. At 40. It's mm -hmm. no joke, and I have not been to get a checkup. I have not gotten an exam. It's I've no, taken my kids, but I haven't. It is no joke, and what's, what's actually interesting about getting your eyes checked is that it's more than just about seeing clearly. High cholesterol, diabetes, macular degeneration, all these things, high blood pressure, can be diagnosed from a comprehensive eye exam. So you're actually going to the eye doctor, but you're actually learning all about overall health and wellness. Wow, very important for yourself. Oh. And as Val mentioned, taking the kids, mm -hmm. that's an important thing too. So I'm a dad, I know you're a mom, yeah. and there's nothing we wouldn't do for our kids. Right. 80% of learning is visual. Yep. And what's scary is that one out of every four kids has an undiagnosed vision issue. And so a child doesn't know what seeing clearly is. And so you may get a note from the teacher that your child's having trouble learning, and it may be because they can't see the board. Right. Mm. And so get your kids in starting at age five, get those eyes checked to make sure that they're able to learn and feel good. Yeah. Mm. It's so true, and a lot of schools make it mandatory. You right. have to get those right. vision exams. Uh, so you have some fascinating facts about the eyes. Uh, one of them is digital eye strain. Tell me about that. So I don't even need to ask. I know you guys both are living on devices. Um, yeah. In the studio alone, teleprompters, Everybody. monitors. Yeah. There's something called blue light. And what that does is it puts a strain on your eyes. And so it actually makes the eyes have to work harder. And so doctors recommend something they call the 20-20-20 rule. 20 minutes every hour for 20 seconds, look 20 feet away. Just give your chance for your eyes to settle, to mm -hmm. relax. It's the intensity of the blue light. It could lead to headaches. It could lead to migraines. Um, it could lead to advanced macular degeneration. Say that one with 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 minutes okay. every hour for 20 seconds. Look 20 feet away from whatever smart device so you're looking at. So every 20 at. minutes, look 20 feet away. Absolutely. Right. So, so reading is great, but you want to also give your eyes a, a quick rest, especially if you're reading on a digital device. Especially if you're reading right. on a digital device, every and especially time. at night. You don't want to be on a digital device close to bedtime. Right. At all. It could affect something called your really? circadian. Really? That's the time I get on it. You don't. I know. At least an hour you? before you go to sleep. I do too, but it keeps me up, I think. Step away from the smart device. Trust me. <laughs> step, step away, away from, from the, the smart, smart device. device. It affects something called the circadian rhythm, which is a fancy way of saying your sleep cycle. And so it actually could impact your ability to fall asleep. Mm, oh I think God that's me. hurting me. That I really do. That's an adverse effect. I mean, it puts me to sleep. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah. Okay, so eyes can be affected by the cold weather? Yeah, I mean, look, it's the Windy City, and it's not called the Windy City for nothing. Um, much like we know what wind and cold can do to your skin, it could do the same thing to your eyes, except that what it does is it creates something called dry eye. And dry eye actually produces a lot of tears, but not good tears, not lubricating tears, tears that mess up your eye makeup. And so you want to go see your eye doctor, you could get drops, there are over-the-counter nutraceuticals, but it's really important to not let dry eye get out of control because you'll end up rubbing and it'll be just really uncomfortable. Mm. What about sunburn on the eyes? Is this possible? So this is crazy, but there's something called photokeratesis, which is actually the cornea of your eye can get a sunburn. The whites of your eye can be sunburned. The good news is there's a really easy way to protect against it. And sunglasses? A, a great pair of sunglasses that are UVA. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe you suggested that. <laughs> I like a great pair of UVA, UVB protecting sunglasses that have polarized lenses. What it allows your eyes to do is simply relax, mm. not have to deal with the glare, not have to strain. And by the way, you don't have to sacrifice really good function for amazing fashion. Right. And you brought a couple pairs of sunglasses for us. So, all right, to try on. And these have the UVA? These have UVA, UVB. Oh, so, Ryan cool. is, well, actually, I think we should put yours on Ryan and Ryan's on yours. I like these, though. Wait, hold on a minute. Give me this camera. Oh, Lord. Do we really have time? Do we really have 30 seconds? Hey, you know what we have time for? How about for? Uh, if we give away a pair to the audience? Not everybody, but one. One, one person is going to go with a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. Get your numbers out. Right. These are worth 125 bucks. Number 58. 58. You're going home with Ray-Ban. All right. There you go.
you go. Thank you, Doug. Thank Appreciate you, Doug. it. All right, be sure to schedule your eye exam before it's too late. Check out uh, one of the 38 neighborhood locations in the Chicagoland area. For more info, go to pearlvision.com. All right, coming up, a performance from Hedwig and the Angry Inch. We'll be right back.